So, since we have ourselves a little box at the FedEx store. Yeah, you know, where you can send us stuff. Some of y'all have been sending us stuff. And you know what? We've kind of accumulated some of the things that we've received most recently and decided to share them with you because y'all were nice enough to send us some pretty awesome things. Yes, and welcome to Party Favors. Party Freeze frame. Favor. Are we done? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> so party favors, that's the thing, is we were trying to think of, there's unboxings, there's mailbox, whatever, fan mail and all that. But, you know, we're the party, so giving us anything uh, that some of these awesome creators have made and decided to share with us, we decided to put them all in a video, and we are calling that party favors. So that shall stick if we get more stuff. So send us anything in the comments or in the and description. He is the P.O. box or the box... The, the box. address to the Send box. Send it to the box. What's in the box? We should call it what's in the box. Mm, Anyways, we're not doing that. that. That party favors is good. Party favors. What's in the box? So, first up, Tino Evil. Tino Evil. If you have not checked out Tino Evil, we did wear their shirts in our Walking Dead finale video for this past season. But they were nice enough to give us a couple more Yeah, shirts. we saw them at Phoenix Comic Con yep. and they gave us some awesome shirts I got here. Bastard Yale. Yep. We Know Brewing and it has Jon Snow. And one of the best ones that has been floating around that we have finally Ew. gotten our hands on is the d go directly to Negan's and the... I can't read it. It says it Chance. Me. Go directly to Alexandria. You lost pay half of your stuff. See, I almost said like the saviors. Or property. It's like, yeah, you. it's definitely a fun shirt. Yes. Um, and then we also got a lot of pins as well. Yeah, these cute little pins. I think these, this one's my favorite. You'll see them here. It's the Hello Kitty, Hello Zombie and one Franco, as well. Franco is the man running the show over at Tino Evil and he is some of the art that he's done as well. So hit up Tino Evil. Those guys are freaking awesome. You will be able to find them at pretty yes. much any big Comic Con. I think they're they're gonna be at Denver Comic Con which is coming up I think this, this weekend, weekend actually. Yeah. yeah. So if you're going to Denver Comic Con uh, find their booth wherever uh, it yeah. is. And then another thing that we have received in the mail is going to be a boxes sort of speaks. I mean it's in a bag but I guess you can call it an unboxing because we have yet to look at it. But it's from T-Blocks slash T-Bangers. T-Bangers is the, kind of their sister site but they sent us a, a couple of shirts. Ooh. We haven't seen what? We haven't even we haven't even seen it yet so you guys are going to see it for first. Oh right. bang! Okay. So. Alright. I guess we'll we'll do the shirts first. So uh, It looks like right off the bat it's a Doctor Who shirt. It's a Doctor Who shirt, so if you want to open that, I'll show the Spider-Man. So we've got a Spider-Man keychain, which is kind of perfect for the time <laughs> being with Homecoming coming up this next coming week. Yeah. So definitely uh, appreciate this. This is definitely going on our keys. Also, Ooh. my first comic book was X-Men. So to send us an X-Men comic as well, definitely appreciative from myself because that's where that's where I hung my hat when I was a kid it was X-Men it was the story of uh, Jean Grey and the Phoenix the rise of the Phoenix and then of course the Wolverine series so for us to get an, an X-Men comic to add yeah, to the best that's pretty awesome because I did not have the foresight and I was an idiot and I sold all my comics when I was a kid so stupid and my Ninja Turtles and all my toys god what was wrong with me not all of them so this is perfect coming to the end of the doctor's season you actually get a Capaldi shirt, okay. which you have a shirt like this, but you have it for the 10th Doctor, but now you have it for the 12th Doctor. That's kind of perfect because Vanessa actually has the legitimate cosplay for the 12th Doctor. So now I can just be a poser and get the 12th Doctor yeah, shirt He'll well, wear that on, on Saturday. So thank you so much, T Block. Yes, we will you, put their like their information website down information below. into the And now yours? The look. And now this one. Oh, that's kinda cute. I got a little breaking bad shirt with Walt. White? <laughs> Walt and uh, Jesse. And Jesse. <laughs> it's been a while. We've sw we've switched over to slipping slipping Jimmy now. That's funny though because I do have a Breaking Bad shirt now and it yeah, has all of them. One. But this one's a good one too, and I really like that it's a V-neck 
Um, I'm a fan of the V-necks. She is a fan of the V-necks. V-necks for Vanessa for any future reference. But yeah. these are awesome shirts. They've been in the back for a little bit because uh, we just well, haven't had time. To we do haven't it. had time, and we wanted to do them all together when we had a chance. Now the next thing was um, there was actually uh, in a, a reaction video that we did for our. Uh, was it ours or Tim's movie trivia showdown? It was Tim's. Tim's. Uh, Tim from the party, he had a, a showdown at Collider Video. We had ours um, a couple days before that, but we had a reaction video where Thomas, who is a local comic writer who writes a bunch of comics for us here in Tucson, Arizona, and he brought a treasure trove of comics. He is the auteur behind all these comics that have come out and some of them are I don't even know if they're still in print anymore I know the Raven um, which is the his more newer one I think is out of print as well but you could probably even find some of these online um, we've got the Raven brief history in time which brief history in time is essentially kind of a cross between like Doctor Who meets Gravity Falls meets, I mean, anything you can think of with the time Peabody. Back to the Future, Peabody and Sherman. Absolutely. These are where he gets his inspiration. And he does an amazing job with these comics. And he's done them with uh, a lot of artists locally in town. Caleb Warner, Eric Schock. These guys have killed it in the local comic scene. We'll, again, have all their information below. I think you could even find Brief History in Time the whole collection on Amazon as well. So for him to give us all these, I mean, he is a powerhouse in the local comic scene. So definitely check those out if you are into the comic scene. I even hear he's working on a new one too. You could even go to their uh, Kickstarter to help them get it up and running. And the uh, artist on that has even put some community reference in there somewhere, he said. That's so awesome. They're, but they're trying to get that produced and Kickstarter up. So. Um, we appreciate all the things that you guys have yes, sent. Yes, thank you so much. Yeah. This is an awesome... I do like the Breaking Bad shirts, so... They are a lot of fun um, because this is what we love. I mean, these are obviously... You've seen the shirts we've worn in the past, and a lot of them we go out of pocket on. Um, but to get these kinds of shirts, they're right up our alley. So we yes. appreciate T-Blocks, T-Bangers, Thomas Keith is the one that wrote these books. And then, and of Tino course, Evil. Tino Evil. Absolutely. Tino Evil has come... Uh, to us a while ago and they are still uh, keeping a friendship with the party and we appreciate that so hit all those guys up they are down yeah we'll below. have the description of and their links and everything in yep. our description definitely area. worth it and thank you guys for watching you can like and subscribe and you can do the thing on our Facebook Twitter Tumblr Instagram all the social networking gin joints we're going to be going to D23 Disney's Fan Expo so if you are in the Anaheim area you can find us look for us we will also be at Universal Studios that following Monday I'm so, so. excited to go to the Wizard World of Harry Potter. And then one day maybe we'll be able to get to the Florida one. But until then, let's start small and go to well, uh, I've LA. been the one in Florida. Rub it in. Anyway, so um, other than that, you can head to our Patreon, help kick in the party, help fill the party, or send us any of your work. If it's a letter, a story, a picture, we want to see it. And we yes. are going to add it to our amazing collection that we have here. We have no problem growing that a little bit more. So send us what you can in the description below. Um, other than that, I think it's now time to say goodbye. Bye. Bye. Bye.